What's going on everybody? David here from Lucas Videos and Collectibles. And today I got a brand new video for y'all and this time it is another mail call video. I received this package like a couple weeks ago and I've been meaning to get it out there but other things have came up and I did other things and put other videos ahead of time. But uh, this package came from the Netherlands uh, from the trade uh, I did with a, a fellow JP uh, collector and um, <clears throat> very happy to get this because this is one of my grails from the uh, Jurassic Park or not Jurassic Park <laughs> I'm in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom uh, toy line and it's a, a pretty rare set and I don't think they're going to be any more distribute to what they have already made I don't know the exact number or how many were made but I know that here in the states we don't we won't be getting any of them, and they have only been found in South and Central America, and also overseas in Europe and um, in that area. So without further ado, this trade was uh, made by or made with uh, a fellow collector named Jacob uh, Runewald. I hope I pronounced your name right. Uh, Forgive me if I didn't, so uh, hopefully I was able to uh, pronounce it correctly. So, <clears throat> he is from the Netherlands, and that's, like I said, that's where it came from. So, uh, first I want to show off the first uh, couple of extras that he uh, sent me along with the package. And it's really cool. I might have to go find uh, some more of these. I don't know how many of these exist. I think there's probably like three of them. But anyways, uh, this is a dinosaur slime egg. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen these in a while. If I had, I really didn't pay attention to them. I just kind of glanced and moved on. Um, I usually don't, uh, well, I actually tried, but I usually don't collect um, extra stuff when it comes to different movie lines. Uh, I wanted to, but I just realized that it was... Too much space uh, that would be taken up if I did that and I wouldn't be able to have room for my other stuff that I collect. But anyway, this is a cool addition that will be displayed once I get everything together. Um, <clears throat> I do have a few extras that are not figure related, but uh, this is one of them right here. So very happy about this and uh, I might have to just track down the other ones if they're still around. So... Uh, got he also sent me a movie poster and well he had a, a movie poster slash toy poster um, he said it's probably it's one of the one of the more rarer posters that that are not made out like that so um, I do want to get it framed but here is the poster of the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom movie and there's Rexy and there's Blue right there. Very neat poster. But on the back of it, here is the entire Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toy line. As far as the basic figures, Roar of Wars, uh, uh, the dual attack vehicle, uh, I said vehicles, <laughs> the dual attack dinosaurs, uh, even if they even showcase all the mini dinosaurs and the multi pack, the three packs that they. Distribute the single, the single ones, and then over here the uh, three packs. I can show it. The uh, they only show the mini dinosaurs, the three packs, the uh, attack packs, and the roar boars, along with the uh, action attack dinosaurs and the. The battle damage dinosaurs, which are exclusive to Walmart. I do need the Pteranodon and the Velociraptor. These are the only two things I'm missing as far as my Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Dinosaur Toy Line goes collection. Other than that, I'm pretty much I pretty much have everything that I was able to collect and get. Um, I haven't gotten any exclusives. Um, not really interested in them. Uh, simply because they're just a, a bunch of repaints and um, I really don't have no need for them. I just want the basic toy line to you know an exclusive. If I get them, I get them. If I don't, I don't. Uh, not, a, not a pressing need for me, to be honest with you. But I do 
take pride in collecting some exclusive stuff. Not in not a whole lot, but if it's like stuff that we can't get in the states that we have to go outside the states to get, then I'll be interested in that. Um, if you recall that uh, uh, a couple months ago or so, maybe was it a couple months ago, month 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 or two ago, <clears throat> I received a, a package from my good friend and fellow collector uh, Kevin McDonald. You know he was able to get the um, Tyrannosaurus Rex Destructor Store. Destructosaurus <laughs> uh, set, so um, uh, I was able to get that from him. That's only in Canada, towards the rest of Canada. You know, you can't get that here. And then I have a friend. Um, I forgot what it was. Let me. I don't know. I'll, I'll say that for another video. But that's. But anyways, so this set is a pretty large set that I'm very proud of. It's one of my grails, like I mentioned in the beginning. And this is the Lockwood Ultimate Battle Set. So it does have a, a repack. Well, I guess you could say two repacks, but one is a straight-up repack, and the other is kind of a, a retooled, you know. Uh, but this will stay in the package. I won't be opening it up. I won't be doing a review on these. But I will be showing this to y'all. And this is the, like I said, the um, <clears throat> the ultimate battle set from the Lockwood scene. And that's a uh, blue and Indoraptor. And like I said, this is a straight up repack. Uh, this one is somewhat, but it's retooled. And uh, like I said, you can't see it at the at the bottom, but there was there there's a couple of holes. You can see one of them. I think right there. You see that hole right there? And there's a hole that's underneath the leg. And um, here, right here, there is the battle damage part. So basically, this is like the superposable Indoraptor, but with the battle damage and two holes right there. And the reason why it has two holes right there um, <clears throat> is because. Uh, if you remember, spoil alert, if you all, if any of y'all hadn't seen the movie, but I'm pretty sure most of y'all have. But anyway, so if you remember in the scene where the Indoraptor falls onto the Triceratops to its death, well, you can reenact that scene with those two peg holes right there, and you can set it right there. So, very cool set. Uh, like I said, this is a gorilla mine. And this will not be coming out the box. It will be like this. So it will be displayed like this uh, in the background with some other stuff in the front. So I have a shelf planned out that I want with all my uh, my uh, inbox stuff. You know, I only got like three of them, like a handful of them. Because one, they're special. And two, they're grails. And three, you, you can't find them anywhere else uh, but outside the country, you know. So, um <clears throat> very happy. Thank you, Jacob. Thank you, Jacob, uh, for this. I really appreciate it. And uh, uh, you really had me get my hustle on when it came to, to trying to obtain this. So uh, it was fun, though. Uh, really appreciate it. And um, I hope you like your package when you receive yours. And um, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Um, <clears throat> I guess that'll be it for that video. So um, I hope y'all enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. And um, comment down below what you think of this uh, battle set or the set, bot set, whatever set I'm trying to say. But um, I hope y'all uh, like this set and because uh, I love it and it's part of my collection. Um, it goes with my um, battle damage collection. So like I said, I have a shelf plan for that where this would be. The, the foreground or the background should I say and then I have my stuff kind of set up uh, in front of it a little bit you know but <clears throat> the only thing I kind of wish that it did have was a window right here so I kind of cover it but hey it is what it is so but anyways um, comment down below what you think of this and uh, if you have this set let me know if you was able to find one out, outside or be able to have somebody help you find one and and uh, send you one and stuff. Because uh, at first I wasn't sure if I was going to get one because um, they're so hard to, to get. You know, well, for us here in the States it is. <laughs> because, you know, you have to 
compensate for um, when you buy one of these. And Jacob was uh, great to work with as far as what he wanted for his collection to uh, compensate for this. And um, <clears throat> because the way we worked it out is he told me what the price was in American dollars. And then uh, he took, gave me a list of stuff that he wanted. So I had to make sure that it kind of, everything kind of matched up. And then we made an agreement as far as uh, shipping goes because it, it's not cheap to ship outside the states you know trust me <laughs> but uh it's worth it though it's worth it though when, when, once you get uh everything set and settled done and um once you get it out there then you, you'll feel a lot you feel good because you know you're actually going to get stuff that you really wanted and that you worked hard for and be able to uh compensate for what you want and they are happy and then i'm happy and you're happy and everybody's happy and don't know where that was going. But anyways, um, if you're new to the channel, uh, please give this channel uh, a sub. Uh, like the video, comment down below. And um, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can receive all my uploads. And uh, don't forget to check out uh, my fellow tag team brothers. You know, make sure you check out all of them. Uh, I'll leave a I will leave a link to all their channels in the description below. And uh, check them out. Subscribe to their channels. A lot of them are gaining a, a huge following which is a great thing and um <clears throat> due to being able to uh share everybody's content and stuff so check them out sub to them comment their videos watch all their videos and um uh, tell them that david blucher lucas videos and collectibles sent you and um uh, also words of wisdom buy what you love and not what you like because if you buy what you like you'll always end up getting rid of it and i'll catch y'all later